Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Okay, so I wanted to do an update on the whole T.I. and Precious story. So as you guys all know, I just posted the video about an hour ago. I've been busy editing. So T.I. did respond. And like I stated in my other video, TMZ took the link down within an hour after it was posted. But of course, the story spread all over social media. And like I stated before, I don't believe that TMZ should have went that far to go dig and go contact the medical examiner. None of that was anybody's business. At the end of the day, T.I. is the celebrity. Tiny is the celebrity. Precious was just a part of the show. She never signed up to, you know, be a celebrity and it was nobody's business, you know. So it looks like T.I. got his point across. So that is why TMZ ran to remove that story. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what T.I. had to say. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm on here. I really backed up off the, I, I backed up off all of the live and the video messages and shit, man. Just cool, man. The shit kind of, shit got goddamn too motherfucking convoluted. But today, I have a message. I have a message for TMZ, Harvey Levin, and all of y'all motherfuckers out there who see fit to run a story. About my loved one. You know, um, for a long time, TMZ and Harvey, y'all been profiting off of people's pain. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all been profiting off of people's pain. All right? People die, people around them, the families who grieving. You know what I'm saying? Y'all putting information out there that really disrupts their grieving process. You understand? But see, for the most part, what we do is we look the other way. You know why? Because those people are celebrities. And nobody feels sorry for celebrities. They're rich. They live a the life that they want. They live a way that nobody else can live. Why should we feel sorry for them? Yeah, I get that. So whenever you say something about me, you dig what I'm saying? I don't even really... I don't even really, man, you know, I just go cry in a bag of money. You know what I'm saying? That's my strategy. But this is my family. This ain't no motherfucking celebrity. This ain't no motherfucking superstar. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you what we going to do. Now, as long as you've known me, Harvey, I've been respectful. I've been cordial, I've been polite, I've been kind, I've been fair. You just burned that bridge. I hope your story was worth it. You just, bur you just burned the bridge to not just me, everybody around me, all my family. Anybody who stand with me, anybody who stood with pressures will not stand with you. That go for the Deltas. Deltas, I need all y'all stand, stand the fuck up. Okay? They go for all of the children in the communities that she taught, that she mentored. Okay? They go for all the generations. From she is 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s to now. Everybody who ever was affected Whoever had any kind of love for my sister, man, stand up and fuck these people, man. I don't give a fuck about your story. So anybody else who follow behind them and run that story, nigga, don't come in my, nigga, don't say shit to me ever. You hear me? Don't add me for no quote, nigga, no picture, nigga, no goddamn interview, nigga, nigga, nothing. Not just me. Anybody around me. Don't ask Tamika. Don't ask Escape. Don't ask Demani. Don't ask King. Nigga, don't ask nobody. Alright? Don't cut that TMZ shit on your TV. You understand what I'm saying? Don't cut that shit on your TV. Don't go online. If you follow them, unfollow them. Man, you are not bigger than the movement, Mr. Mr. Harvey. 
You are not bigger than the movement. You got shit that you don't want motherfuckers to know. And I'm going to find out. But get what? I still ain't going to tell it because I ain't that type of nigga. But just know. Man, all y'all, every last one of y'all, every last one of y'all got shit within your family that you don't want nobody speaking on. You understand? You got shit within your household, shit that go on with your children, shit that go on with your wife, shit that go on with your husbands. All y'all, all of you. Ain't none of you above the movement, man. I just can't, I can't stand when motherfucker act like they ain't, like they so holier than thou, like they can sit up in the ivory tower and look down on the sinners. Motherfucker, let he without sin cast the first stone. Let he without fault point the first finger. Know who the fuck you think you is or who the fuck you think you playing with. I ain't never, I ain't never pretended to be perfect. Never will. I don't have to. You know what I mean? I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. But I'm worth every motherfucking minute of trouble I ever got in. I'm worth it. And I got all the lessons from it. And every mistake I make, every mistake I've made has informed me and formed me into a better man. So, Mr. Harvey, on behalf of my sister Precious, on behalf of my family, on behalf of everybody my family has affected in a positive way, all the good deeds we've done, whoever has benefited from anything that my family has done directly or indirectly, from me, from her, from my kids, from my uncles, anybody who was affected in a positive way by us, it's time to stand up. It's time to stand up. And you ain't got to be no big ass celebrity. All we need is numbers. All we needed for you not to fuck with them. That's it. All we needed for you not to fuck with them. And any other celebrities, if you've been wronged by their motherfucking ass, guess what? Come on. I ain't scared. You can't tell motherfucking shit about me that they don't know I already know. I ain't scared. So, y'all enjoy y'all day. TMZ, Mr. Harvey, I hope that shit will work. That'll be all. How in this shit? Expedition. All right, so you guys just heard what T.I. had to say, and I agree with him 100%. You could hear the anger and the hurt in his voice. And, I mean, anybody would be hurt if somebody's family member was put out there like that. This man's receiving calls and text messages from everyone, people on social media, taken away from her legacy, taken away from the good things that she did in the community, taken away from the fact that she was a wonderful aunt and those kids loved her. They literally diminished that into, you know, blasting her alleged cocaine habit. And like I stated in the other video, even if she did die of this, it does not take away from the person she is. You have a lot of people who deal with substance abuse, who deal with a lot of real issues behind closed doors, but because they're not a celebrity, because they're not related to a celebrity, they're able to keep all their dirt behind closed doors. And that's the sad part nowadays, like I've been saying for months now, there's no journalistic integrity. Everything is about a shock factor, and that's where we've gotten to. To the point where now even the mainstream media is in competition with YouTube and TMZ. They spend more time gossiping about celebrity news than even letting us know what's going on in the world around us. It's not okay. So I definitely feel where T.I. is coming from. And I think it's a shame that they even chose to, you know, run with it. Of course, I'm going to do commentary on it because it's a viral story. But I'm going to do responsible commentary calling out the fuck shit. He's definitely right with everything he said. That was some straight up bullshit. Very uncalled for. Let that woman rest in peace. She passed in February and now y'all want to come in June as they're still mourning the loss of their family member and come with this BS to like basically taint her legacy. It's a shame. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. 
Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning T.I. and what he had to say to Harvey Levin. Do you agree with T.I.? Do you feel like, you know, certain things need to be off limits? And then do you agree with me that journalism at this point is just trash? People can just do and say whatever, and it's considered journalism. There's no more integrity. There's no more scruples. People can just post anything online, and folks run with it. How do you guys feel about this situation, and do you guys stand with T.I., or do you feel like, you know what? It's the world he lives in. He's a celebrity. That's part of the game. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.